Embrace your true self through shadow work. So I've been asked to have a look at the language and the mental constructs that potentially give us circular reference points. And because they give us circular reference points, then we subconsciously have nowhere to go in terms of our growth and development and our learning. So if we take a look at the title of this video, for example, we have embrace your true self through shadow work. So on the face of it, it sounds like a normal title, but when you have a look at the mental construct side of things, it's anything but. Because when we have a look at embrace, it's a connection. And then when we have a look at our true self, we're not there yet because we're basically a culmination of all of the programming, the patterns, behaviors, and conditioning that we've had through our experience to this point in our lives. And then we have through, which actually means going beyond the point where we are now and then we have shadow work which is all the stuff that is going to show itself to us because it's actually the conditioning the habits patterns and behaviors that we need to get rid of in order to get back to the true self so when we have a look at the whole setup and the structure from that perspective we've actually got no way to go because ultimately what we're going to be doing is we're going to have to go through all of the shadow work i.e everything and anything associated with the lessons and the learning and the conditioning that we're having to process in order to find who we actually truly are but that involves going through everything rather than acknowledging that the stuff that we're actually looking at is who we believe we are, but is subsequently just the conditioning. So as you can see, there's an open avenue that we can have a look at shadow work and we can start getting involved in it. But what we will have is the problem whereby we associate with the shadow element, but we also have to reject those very same shadow elements because they're not who we are, but they're obviously a part of who we are currently from a place of our present identity that needs to be dealt with, processed, understood correctly, and then subsequently transmuted, I would assume is the best way to describe it, to the perspective that it no longer forms part of our underlying identity. And we can then subsequently move on beyond that point in order to then get to the true self. But the true self is just a self that's aligned, a self that attracts magnetically to it or to the person themselves, circumstances and experiences for their own growth and their own development. But much of the shadow work itself is everything that follows us around that is lurking in the shadow, but subsequently the shadow is just cast from the original identity based on an outside source or influence that then shouldn't be there. So obviously the sun is the prime example to then reflect against the human body. And then obviously if you look at the angle that the sun is shining against the human body, then you get the retrospective shadow that follows you around behind. And that shadow could have any number of things in it. So some of these things could be shame, could be guilt, could be repressed emotions and feelings and they all have to be gone through but obviously not associated with from a place of connection and then have to be disconnected in order to be reconnected from a place of balance and healing to make sure that we are our truest most authentic aligned version of self so when we have to go through shadow work it doesn't mean by doing shadow work it means actually going through all of the lessons and the healing. And this can take time. This can take a long period of time because you're having to identify structures that have been put into place into your life, coping mechanisms, survival adaptations, and anything of such that has formed who you are to this present moment in time, but can't go with you on the next stage and when creating the next form of identity. So when we have a look at embracing that, we're looking to connect with that. But because we haven't done the actual shadow work yet and we haven't gone through that entire process, then we can't truly connect or embrace the true self until we start the journey, but obviously get enough out of the journey in order to then start realizing some of our potential and some of who we actually are under all of these layers of conditioning patterning and behaviors but then as soon as we do that we'll get 
given a set of other circumstances that then come to contradict that. And in contradicting that, we're then going back into this cycle of, have we done enough work to get out of it, to then be more aligned with who we truly were meant to be? Or do we get dragged back into the old way of doing things? And then subsequently, we repeat the same patterns, habits and behaviours until such a time as we believe we're in a position to then deal with it correctly from the state of a stable, foundational new identity. But there's something to think about. And if you've got any comments or if you are doing your own work on the shadow work side of things and need some help, then just let me know and we can go from there. But as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.